Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Here, you can have some too. I think we should look for your parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> yeah, why? Clementine? Clementine! Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Clementine! Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Where have you taken her? This isn't Vernon, and you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine, but if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. How's that feeling? Not great. My hand is hot. Thumping a little bit. You seem okay for now. Yeah, totally. We don't have much time. We're about to have a lot less. We'll all make sure nothing gets in. You're still the smartest fucker out of all of us. Try to find another way out of here. This is a good Just some surgical supplies. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Fuck. 
Is he alive? Shit. This is bad. Fuck! Help me hold it. Okay. This has to be done. Sorry, pal. I gotta do it. Uh, don't kill me! Stop! He's awake! He's still bitten! So? This about trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. Chopping his arm off. Do we know it works? We don't know anything. We know there's gonna be a lot of blood. There's gonna be a shitload of blood. What if he dies? Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. easier when I thought he was out. Oh, Jesus. Fine. I'll go as fast as I can. Fast would be good. Look. You're ah! Ah! Try to stay still! Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Ah! I know! Maybe we lost you. You've been out a while, man. It's so bad. But maybe now I got more time. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. Jeez. Oh, We're gonna have to go as quiet as possible and see if we can make it to an empty floor or even the roof. You think it's possible for you? Yeah. Get going.
Remember when Savannah was empty? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There must be thousands of them. They didn't follow us here, did they? It sure seems like it. That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. Is it? That fucking train wasn't exactly discreet. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I... Uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. If you find yourself getting winded, or worse, you gotta let us know. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now... Let's get our bearings. That's the church across the street from the mansion. River Street should be just beyond that. We need to head back that way. We'll stop off at the mansion, like you said, and make sure we didn't overlook anything. Yeah. Just need to figure out a way to get there. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Yeah. That could help. Hey. How's the leg? It's doing a lot better. Thanks for going into Crawford for me. Even if it wasn't entirely for me. Clementine, too. She's tough as hell. Isn't she? Yeah. Don't worry more than you should about her, okay? I'll see if we can make it out to that bell tower. Okay. Be careful, though. I don't want you going any sooner than you have to. Thanks. I think you're Clem's favorite, you know that? Really? Yeah, she's a big fan. You get away with shit I never would. We're getting her back, Lee. You know that, right? Yeah. When we get this fucker, we'll get out of sight and leave you with him. You get me? I get you. It's higher than this roof, for starters. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah, could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You think you should be the one to go? My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, 
It should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit. Try to find another way out of there? Way. Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! I think I have to jump! There's no way back! You can make it! It ain't that far! You got this! Got this, motherfucker. <sighs> Good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof! Come on, just come the fuck on! Well, we're not coming back here after we find Clem. Who? Fuck. How could this happen? This was Vernon. You think so? Definitely. Hey guys, Lee's right. It was Vernon and that support group. No fucking way! The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who've been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their make-a-wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick. It really is. They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks and then stab us right in the back! They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever and they were fed up. That's it. He says he feels bad about it. Leaving us... and Clementine behind. They fucked us! Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. 
I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two. You know, yourselves. It's not like that, man. Find a small town. Maybe one that hasn't been ripped up too bad. At some point, people are gonna have to start rebuilding. And you guys and Clem should be part of that. I don't know. Lee's right, Krista. We've been so goddamn scared of strangers for so long, but at one point, we gotta take our chances, right? This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny! Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omi! What is it? Front doors! <laughs> <laughs> Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! <laughs> Get ready to fight. This place seems sturdy to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Get to the end of the hallway. This will slow him down. Get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. Could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. 
No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. I'm okay. Don't... What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it! We're trapped in here! Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. My arm is not the issue. I'm not the problem. The 500 walkers in the house, and no door in this room are the goddamn problem. Yeah, maybe at the moment, but who's to say when it becomes an issue? At that point, there may not be any time left to deal with it. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. Then kill me, you son of a bitch, okay? Don't even fucking hesitate! I will! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look. It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well... We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. 
You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We make sure he never takes anybody from anyone again. Bro's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. Uh, that, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently, chap. So, no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. But sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. <sighs> I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, Ken. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. 
I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? It's good to be moving. You're doing good. I'm not. But I'm trying, man. What happened? Honestly, you know how many nights Kat and I laid in that broke-down RV? And she'd give me hell for not thinking enough about the rest of you. All of them. Every damn night. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. Maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Let's get off of here now. Yep, that. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. Uh. find this guy without it. And what if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. We just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Fast would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Grab onto this! We'll pull you up! Good. Thanks. Fuck! 
Jump up here, baby! Let's go! Jump! <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. <sighs> what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken! Okay, just said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach! <sighs> I got you, hun! Save her! Go, go, go! Can you fucking hear me? Get Kenny! You gotta run, man! Go! We'll find a way to get you! Get the fuck off me! No! Go! Help me! Go! Where... where'd he go? Maybe... maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... The house hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Fuck up to Claire. It's Kenny to answer for, too. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. You guys will be great for her. Keep her safe. We do our best, you know that. Good. Thanks. Whatever your best is, I'll trust it. That's all you can do. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hot. Decision doesn't make itself. I'll go first, in case anything happens out there. You sure? Yeah. Just go nice and slow. Almost there. It's an easy crossing. Good. Fine. I'm kind of fucked here. What are you gonna do? Fuck it. I'm going for it. Going for it? 
What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? But maybe you got to it fast enough. Maybe you'll be fine. I can't risk losing more time on a long shot. Find me when you get down. What the fuck does that mean? It means what it sounds like. Hotel's around the corner. Find Clementine and me as soon as you can. You're crazy! There's no other way. I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, 
there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. For the taking? Do you know what you took from me? Don't you start on who took what from who. I didn't take her from you. I rescued her from you. Don't you get that? <sighs> Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? Clementine. The girl misses her parents. I'm not them. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. She deserved it. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us! That's not the whole story. The whole story?! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Look, I was bitten. You were what? Yeah. I probably don't have a whole lot of time. Wow. A 
okay then. No, you're not taking her. Lee. I said no. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but... It's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Liam, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Savannah.
We'll get you cleaned up as soon as we can. Not soon enough. Are you done? A little more. I want to be sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no! Lee! I, I was so scared! I, I... I thought you left me! I... I... I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. They're dead. They really are. As fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it. It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One, two, three! <laughs> See? Clementine, honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. <sighs> it's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay.
Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee! The door is right here! <sighs> I can't. You have to! Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Clem, I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. We're doing good. Open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, Lee. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. But what? Why? No matter what happens, I'm safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You only have to deal with him now. Trapped over there. If you're careful, you can get what you need from him. The keys, and then the gun. Keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. 
Didn't think it's dangerous. You're faster than he is. What should I get first? Get the gun, Clem. Always the gun. Grab it! Get him! Get him! Watch out! You're strong, Clem. You... you can do anything. But I'm little. That means nothing. You go see bad stuff, but it's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, sweet pea. And now... you... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Megan, the first days we met, do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I, I can. Find Omid and Krista. Probably looking for us right now. Stay on high ground. Don't go too far. You'll find them. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. Keep that hair short. I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too.
Children 